what's going on you guys appreciate you guys being here for another video today I brought out the 223556 build that I uh, finished probably two to three weeks ago and wanted to get this Swamp Fox Arrowhead 1 to 10 LPVO uh, new optics sighted in this is gonna be my first shots on this uh, I've got a little pizza box set up down there I'm gonna sight this in at 50 yards Typically, I always sight my ARs uh, 223, 556 in at 50 yards, then we're good at 200. Today, just shooting some 55 grain uh, American Eagle. Like I mentioned, this is going to be the first time shooting through this Swamp Fox Arrowhead 1 to 10. Just getting it out of the box, looking through it in the basement, uh, standing outside, just looking through it. Not actually shooting, the clarity is just awesome uh, for its price point, and I love the fact that it is a 1 to 10 instead of like a one to four or one to six. That extra four or so magnification really, really stands out when you're, you know, ringing still at longer distances or whatever you're doing. Um, if anybody wants to see kind of a full run through of this optic or this build, just make sure and comment down below. Today, we're just out here plinking around, shooting just some cheap stuff, 55 grain American Eagle. Uh, get this baby sighted in and uh, we'll see how she does. All right, we just did two there. I'm gonna take you guys up. We'll look at the target, cross off those two shots. And um, I think left to right, windage is pretty good. We'll just make some changes to the elevation. <clears throat> take you guys off the tripod here and we'll go up, take a look. So the first one there, I think I pulled that just a little bit, crossed both of these off. I'm going to come up just a little bit. All right, we're going to leave the windage alone. We're going to come up just a little bit. The clicks on this thing are pretty awesome. They're really pronounced. You can really feel them clicking in there. Nothing mushy about those turrets at all. Uh, pretty awesome optic. Let's shoot a couple more down here. All right, those look pretty good. Let's go take a look. <clears throat> Looking pretty solid. I can zoom in on that. That right there is the same hole. So right here's first, I think I pulled that one. Shot right there, I felt good about that, so I moved it up just a little bit. And you can see right there, hopefully you can see that. One and two, same hole. I would say we're good there. All right, guys, you saw it there. Pretty quick and simple side in with this Swamp Fox Arrowhead 1 to 10. I think I'm going to be really happy with this setup. This is a recce style setup right here. I know I'm going to be really happy with this setup here. This is a recce style setup. Been a really big fan of them over the years and was happy to get this one put together and uh, anxious to shoot some more. I'm going to stay out here and shoot some more, but just wanted to bring you guys along for the, the quick side in process there and show you guys how simple that was. And one thing I will probably do is get an adjustable gas block for this since I'm running it suppressed uh, show you guys here my 
that shows up, my brass pile is ejecting this way and uh, probably a little bit too over gas. So we'll back that off just a little bit, make some changes there, but <clears throat> you guys could see it there. Everything cycled fine. Didn't have any jams in those five shots, four shots, however many it was. But yeah, if you guys wanna see kind of a rundown, a breakdown of the build on this or an individual video, on this LPVO from Swamp Fox, uh, comment down below, let me know. I'm gonna get back down here and sweat a little bit more and shoot some more downrange. So appreciate you guys being here. We'll see you on the next one. Happy hunting, be safe, bye.